here we go. Fisherman number four, McBean. Hi, McBean. Wetline's debut. Special guest, Mike Bean. Special guest. Mid erection section. Say hi to your future world fans. Hi, fans. Subscribe. <laughs> That's it. Straight away. Now. Don't doodle about a bit. <laughs> you want to see more of this premium specimen of a man, smash that subscribe button. Premium. Premium specimen. Finish this and I began, huh? Yeah, no, well, have, a, have a good nap first. I could do with a nap already, to be honest. <laughs> when was your last nap? About six hours ago, four hours ago? Oh, I had one at work. Yeah, yeah. I hope my boss don't subscribe. <laughs> Actually, I hope he does. <laughs> if you're not, what are you playing at? No, straight away. <laughs> you're gonna get a good hammer in now. That's a good hammer. There you go, son. Cheers, mate. Nice one. You're getting this. That's fresh Just good form. Win. That's good form right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that form. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Miss. That's it. Have a nap. It's up. Yeah, it's it. it's I'm up. Done. I'm done. Still have. <laughs> Read this. We always. What's I say? We always knew. Yeah, you read it out. I'm not reading all that. Basically, we just got to a thousand subscribers. Congrats on a thousand. Subscribers. There we go. Thanks, people. Yeah, we really appreciate every single one of you that's hit that sub button. If you're not one of those people, what are you doing? Smash that red button down there. Smash that subscribe button. Join us on White Lines, yeah? We're Join our take family. We're going to take over YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Well, the efficiency won't be forgotten. Definitely not. But also, Hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. You know what you're saying, Jamie? You know I'm watching. You know you're watching. I know for a fact that Bill watches. And Bob. <laughs> and Bob. Yeah. Hi, John. John. Hang on, what about Sarah? I don't leave Sarah out. And Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the women watch fishing, mate. That's it. All of you. Hit that sub button. Do women watch fishing? Of course they watch wet lines. You've seen the talent on this channel. Oh, wow. Yeah. That means that you're exactly Right. Mate, there's 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 plenty of women out there that love fishing, and, and my mum's lines. one of them. And wet yeah. lines. My mum's one of them. And wet lines. Yeah. Well, thank you. From the bottom of. And that was my a genuine, heart. genuinely uh, an email just genuinely come through. There. I mean, I, you can see the timestamp there. It's ten past two. It's now. All right. Well, all right. I, didn't, I didn't see it straight away. Two thirty-three. Two thirty-three. Wow. I was doing side of the session when that happened, but. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to meet someone new on Tinder. Don't know if you see that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's nice. That's a touch. So, you know. You go. Nah, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> see that, mate. Yeah. Oh, it'll be done, let, let, let's know how you get on. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is he a dot on YouTube, he's actually played a film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Got a Tinder message. <laughs> yeah. Good. We're Good lad. That. That's, <laughs> that's not part of the channel. It's not something you can know about. Yeah. Uh, but look, he's he's taking his jacket off. He's yeah, he's loosening himself right up for this email. Yeah. Oh. Look, he's, he's like, I think he's in love, Flynn. It's like it's too hot to wear that. Definitely. It's hot stuff, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Day two. Could this be the first cap? Here we go, looks like the uh, co-founders in Loughlin. Fish though, mate. Cheers though, mate. It's teasing us. I think it looks too bad. Because you know it's nice in here. Yeah, go for a run. Oh. Touch the ground line a bit there. Oh, Let's just pop it in that now, shall we? I've got that over and under. Over and under? I think so. 
Fish in? Fish in the net. Can't see it, yes. My eyes are blinded. <laughs> yeah. uh, guesses. What are we calling? I'm going to go uh, 11. It's a double figure, you reckon? I don't know, yeah. I mean, I'm going, I'm going 11. What do you reckon, Mick? 10.2. Tone? <laughs> 10.1. 9 <laughs> <laughs> 9.3. <laughs> that last one, you just got it bang on. Oh, Bill was like that on our last trip. Every every fish he just kept guessing yeah. according to the human scale. So oh, oh, oh she's surprising. Yeah, we'll hype, under hype there is. Yeah, she's, uh, what did I say? 11. 11 and a half. No, you're not the wrong number. <laughs> 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 nice. 11, 11 and a half. 11 and a half? Yeah. yeah. Double figures, son. Oh, she's lively. Easy, girl. Yeah. Clean little colour, isn't it? Nice. So, the heavens are opened. That's a standard for Tony. I always pick the dates and it's always raining, look. There you can see that. He's chucking it down. Still nothing else. It's been really quiet actually. And there's a lot of anglers. On the lake, they haven't caught nothing either, so it's pretty quiet. Hey, you're out on the bank, that's the main thing. I'm out on the bank. I'm happy about that. But rain sometimes switched the, switched the carp on, hopefully, but it hasn't been warm, so it might not. The traps are out of the set anyway, so um, we'll see. So here we are. A bit of a biffy biff. The only problem is. The weather is terrible. So, um, being that wet lines have given me the only feature, and the only feature is that I cook, uh, I feel compelled to make it happen. So, we're on our last day, we're off at 7 a.m. in the morning, um, and I haven't cooked the Bivy Bistro yet. So, just to let you viewers know, I'm gonna do a chicken and chorizo pasta. Um, with a uh, uh, cream cheese, uh, garlic and herb sauce, um, with chilies as well, just to give it a little hum. Um, and I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, how the hell can you book that, can you do that on the bank, right? Um, so how can you do that sort of food on the bank? So I just want to show you how simple it is. I mean, admittedly, I probably would have pre-boiled the pasta, just to save a little bit of time, but, I've got a board of pasta, so that's fine. Um, but I just want to show you how simple this is. I mean, what we've got is we've got red peppers, we've got chives, sugar snap, we've got Tesco finest uh, spicy Spanish chorizo, and some mixed chilies, all right? So that's what we're going with. So I'm gonna get this chopped up, I'm gonna get the pasta boiling, and once I've got that done, I'll, uh, I'll get you back and we'll, uh, we'll see what's going on. So you could cook this on the bank, right? You could just pan fry it, chop it up, and just bag it up ready for, you, for, for the meal that I'm gonna cook. Um, but I thought I'd get the wife to pre-spice it for me. <laughs> She's really good at that. Um, just so it's got a bit of flavor. So even just eating the chicken breast, it's not just plain white chicken breast. It's, it's spiced, it's flavored, it's cooked. So, so that we're gonna go with as well. That's gonna go in with the chorizo. Yeah, so first of all, the chorizo goes in. Um, I don't use any oil because I, I, I just try to minimise the amount of saturated fat. So as you can see, mate, we've got the, uh, the oil is all out of the chorizos now, so they're good. Um, so now we're straight in with our chicken breast. Again, you can cook it on site, it's up to you, depending on the weather, whatever. I've pre-cooked it, spiced it, whatever. So that's in. So as you can see, all the chicken breast now has absorbed that kind of chorizo oil. So it's just, just adding to that flavour. So that is packed with flavour, absolutely packed with flavour, right? So next we're gonna go for the uh, sugar snaps, straight in, yeah? Yeah, so now we're gonna stick in the chilies. We got chilies, uh, red chilies, green chilies, red peppers. Uh, obviously they're quite soft, so they're gonna go in last. 
So that goes in there and we'll give it a little stir just to get it all kind of mixing. And as you can see, it looks quite dry, the mix at the moment. You wait and see, viewers. I think we're about ready for the uh, cream cheese garlic and herb sauce. Now, I know that sounds really difficult. I mean, I've got to prepare it. Um, you know, not easy to, to create a sauce on the bank. So what I've decided is to use Philadelphia. Works a treat. That's essentially everything you need. And we're gonna want pretty much, I'd say two thirds of the pot. Looks like a lot, I know, but trust me. So at the moment, that's really hard, yeah? So now what we need is, because as you can see, it's too thick. So what we need is some water in there. I always use the pasta water for extra flavor, starch. It also thickens it up. We chuck a little bit in there, like so. And we stir. And what you get in the end, I know it doesn't look good. Bear with me, bear with me. Bear with, you're gonna love this. As you can see, we've now got a beautiful cream cheese, garlic and herb sauce. Right. So basically what you see here viewers is our um, nice cream cheese, garlic and herb sauce with chili, chicken and chorizo. Right. Now we're gonna add the pasta. See now you can actually make this as a hot meal but actually, if you bag that up like that, yeah, and put that in a container, you could eat that as a cold salad. So there's another option. Get the wife to cook it at home, bring it to fishing, you're not eating sausage sandwiches all weekend. It's all finished now. Yep, so we're all done, mate. There we go. That's the finished dish. Just a little bit of garnish, just to chef it up a little bit. And there we have it. It's beautiful. And that's called uh, chicken and chorizo pasta. Uh, with a cream cheese, and garlic and herb sauce, covered in chives. Who says you can't have that on Beautiful. the bank, mate? Have a mouthful, tell us what it's like. Let's have a little go. Right, where are we? So let's give it a try. Mm. Oh. I need to start charging for this. <laughs> what are we saying then, Tony? <laughs> That's right, I don't think you can see your face. Yeah. That's good, man. That's good, that's good stuff. It's very nice. It's got like a warm spice to it. Yeah. Not too spicy though, I don't need a drink. That cheese is just right. I'm just gonna see bacon. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> very personal, mate. Oh, What's happened? Tell us, tell us, go through what just happened. Absolute palaver. Yes. So, so I've got the bait, got yeah. my hook, got it in the boat. Put it on a spot, I'm feeling good about life. It's lovely. Went to put the rod on the rest, tighten yeah. it up. Oh, spool, spool, whole line, whole reel, fell off. In the lake? Fell in the water. <laughs> so so you went all elbows deep? So we're, we're up to here of all the now grimy lake water. Yeah. Well, thankfully we got it back. Thankfully you've got long arms. Well, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> so, as you'll now assess, this is now covered in absolute load of mushk. Yes, it is. Well, we, won't, we won't bother cleaning uh, that. I reckon, that, that, do you, reckon you had that too loose? It's I had just... that too loose because I was looking after your boat hoping I wouldn't drag it back. Right, I'll get you. Sod your boat in the future, I'm just going to drag it back and make it work harder. All right. Because or, this, you can, or you can this just... This whole thing in the lake. Or you can just have one I'll next time, one this. man. Just do this. Yeah, one man, man in the reel while you, you use the boat, so it doesn't. Nah, all... that makes me seem a bit, a bit special, though, doesn't it? I can't do it myself. I'll just have to open the bail arm next time. But there you go. So that was not ideal. Round two. We can try round two. The sun's out. It's lovely now. Yeah, that it. That's, that's your latest. It looks like it's. What way's them clouds going? Is that what we just had? Yeah, they, they seem to be moving that direction. A little bit, you know, it, it decided to tip down with the rain mid me uh, <laughs> yeah. having to go in the lake as it was. So mid retrieving. Mid retrieval, it started tipping down, so I was double wet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right then. That's pretty much that, so I'll see you later. Bye. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Little check in for you. This is my first time I've checked in here. It's about half seven, day two. 
as you can hear, raining, lovely. It's very grim out there, windy, rainy. And to this point, still no fish for me. Still no fish for my mate Beanie. But Nick's had obviously the one catfish you've seen, Tony's had the one carp. Excuse the rain, but that's what we're putting up with right now. So I say, end of day two. Fingers crossed we get some fish during the night. We've all put our new rigs out, new bait, freshened it up. We've done all we can do. We've tried new spots, new rigs, new tactics. So yeah, we've done all we can do for now. Me and Beanie, or Mike, Nick, I don't know what name you'll know by now. Uh, we're here till tomorrow afternoon-ish, evening, depends how it's going, how the weather is, all that. Tony and Mick, they're off in the morning, up and out of here, nice and early, 7am. So hopefully we can get another fish during the night, or even during this time of rain. And while I've got you all here, let's get a bit closer, because this is a bit loud. Too, in, too intimate, too personal, out there. Just like to also thank everyone who subscribed recently. I mean, just in general, sorry. We've reached the thousand mark now. Let's just carry on. Let's push on. We're trying to, you know, I don't know what's possible on YouTube. We can only try our best. So, if you've not subscribed, appreciate it. Smash that red button, that subscribe button. Support the channel. Do as you can. Like the like the video or thumbs down the video. Depends, you know. You either like it or you don't. I'm happy either way. And leave a comment. You know, I'm not sure what for. See, so yeah, now we've hit the thousand subscriber mark. We are thinking about doing a giveaway for subscribers. That obviously won't be in this video. We need to sort that out, come to some arrangements, see what we're going to do. So if you want to be in a chance of winning that, that giveaway, whenever it'll be, probably in the next video or two. It might even be, uh, it'll probably be in our July. We're going fishing in July. A lot of us will be there. We'll be doing a giveaway on that, that session, so. If you want to be in a chance of winning what that giveaway will be, subscribe now and you'll be within a chance of winning it at that time, obviously. More details will be given as to what the prize will be and how you go about winning it. But there will be a thousand subscriber giveaway. But for now, this is getting a bit loud. We'll cut it off there. And, uh, if there's any further updates, keep it. stay tuned. What's up? Ralph, are you into one? I am baiting. Oh, yeah? I am. Oh, go on, look at that bend. What do you reckon it is? It feels like a carp, mate. Is it? Yeah. Oh, finally, the bungee's into one. Right. Um, yeah, that's right. Not the F word. It's a nice evening. Oh, that's what I was waiting for, for that rain to clear so I could come out and... Where's that positioned? Where'd you put that? I, just, I didn't put it, I put it. The other one's going, boy. Shall I get it? Get me into two. I can't, I can't <laughs> Let it run. Yeah. Yeah. Feel me, how am I gonna film and Sorry about that viewers, we uh, <laughs> thought we might be into two with no help, as you can see Baker's over there sound asleep and our other little friend is also sound asleep. So what's your faults tone on the old sesh here mate, it's, uh, it's been quite quiet hasn't it but are you yeah. pleased that you got into one towards the end of the day there mate? Yes, I might well, you know it's not over yet, it's not in the net. Well, true, 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 okay, yeah, 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 I see your point. Where's that line going there? I can't see it in the water there yet. Is she going to surface? 
There she is. Is that a mirror? Nice little mirror. Here we go. For a long day of waiting. He's into a con. He's into a mirror. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Right, so we're calling it. I'm gonna call 20 pound. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go for 20 pound. Got a call? What's your call? You got a call, son? 19. You reckon about 19? Okay, so you're gonna be pessimistic. <laughs> and I am optimistic. Just gotta let it drain out a bit. Yeah, let the water drain out, because we don't cheat on wet lines. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, fill it with a few stones, make yourself look better. Bang on 20. I think I'll give you 20 on that. Yeah, yeah I'll give you 20 on that. Flutter in between sort of 20, yeah, 20 on that. Definitely. That's all right. Hard to film with the, uh, the GoPro, I've got to say. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy. Nah. That's not easy enough. Nice. There she is. Look at that. Too many beers. That's it. Put it out one more time if you can. got it. Yeah. Like you can edit a snapshot out of your video, you know that. Yeah. There she is. There you go, viewers. 20 pound mirror. They are in there. It's all 19 and a half. And we've had a cat as well, which is 29 and a half, not 30, as Bunge put it out. It's quite dark, actually. It's quite dark all of a sudden. Yeah. She's gonna pick it up still. Look. Any final thoughts, Bunch? It's dark. <laughs> Definitely. Right out, people. So that's the morning of day three. Just in the middle of packing up, slowly packing up. So I still hopefully leave this late afternoon, evening, but I like to pack up all the non essentials beforehand, but anyway. I've had no luck on this session still. No fish for me. As we see, Tony had a nice couple of mirrors. I'm not sure if they all got filmed though because I was asleep, Nick was asleep, and there was a... Well, I think Tony was playing a mirror last night at about half nine and his other rod ripped off while Mick was filming. And I think it was a palaver as to what to do. So I think he got the mirror, but I think the other, other fish on the line come off. Didn't get to that one in time. So he's had a couple of fish. Mick had the nice 29 pound catfish. My other mate Mike, no luck on this occasion, but again, he had a good take. Had the fish probably within about less than a rod length from netting it. Sadly, the uh, line snapped off, so he lost that one. So we've not, had the, we've not had the best of luck on this session, but you know, the weather's been up and down, it's been hot, it's been raining, it's been windy. It's been a confusing little session. But unless there's any more fish, or any more action, it's probably be the end of the video, I'm guessing. So if you've enjoyed this video, it's a bit of a different one, I suppose, in a way, because it's not too many fish, but we can't all catch every time. So yeah, unless there's any more fish, anything worth vlogging, this will probably be the end of the video. So if you've enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. If you've not enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs down video. And if you did enjoy it and want to see more, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Plenty more videos. We've already got a fair few trips planned, penciled in, booked, done. So providing the COVID situation doesn't get any worse, we've got a fair few sessions lined up real soon. So there'll be plenty more content coming your way. So until then, Keep those lines wet. I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.